Welcome, friends! It is I, Rose Lost Scarf, and it's time for the Short Smite Beginner Guide to... Nausea. That's right, that little boy is here to cause some trouble and just straight up style on everybody with those fire wheels on his feet, which are really weird. So, what's happening here is we're going to do a beginner guide. We're going to explain his abilities, his class and roles, tips and combos with him, things you should consider purchasing for him as far as stats go, and then we'll wrap it all up in a conclusion. He's a very fun god to play, and hopefully you'll learn a lot from this guide. As far as advanced and expert players go, there's probably nothing here you don't know already, but still, see the guide and see if there's anything that you think should be elaborated on, and say so in the comments, that way viewers have more they can learn from, and that'd be great for everybody. So let's get going. Naja's abilities. First up is his passive Righteous Spirit. What happens here is every time you land a basic attack, it gives you a stack. 20 max stacks, and when you use Flaming Spear, which is your second ability, it heals you for a percentage of your HP. 1.25% per stack, so 25% at max. First ability, Universe Ring Toss. This is a pretty cool move. You can bounce off enemies with this skill shot, and it debuffs enemy protections, slows them, and increases Naja's movement speeds. It's really deadly if you can do a two-target hit. Second ability is Flaming Spear. This is the one that activates your passive. It also gives you an attack speed buff, and it gives you a 15% chance of critical while it's on. Third ability, Armillary Sash. This is a skill shot that stuns the god that you hit with it, and it launches Naja at them, and it has a chance of critting, if you have any crit chance. And lastly is his ultimate, Windfire Wheels. This is a CC immune dash that activates at the first god hit, and it leads into a mini game where you left click at the right time to land a critical. You do this three times, and then it slams to the ground to do even more damage. Something important to note is, wherever you were when you casted your ultimate, you go back to where that is. So it can be very safe to hit someone at maximum range if you know how to do it. Class and Rolls. Naja is an assassin, which means he's a fast god capable of killing through abilities and basic attacks. Great at killing, but can't take a lot of punishment. Naja can create situations for himself and allies with his sash and ultimate. He can also harass well with his ring, and Flaming Spear is useful for beating enemies to death and for healing out of bad situations. When it comes to beginners, it's gotta be jungle. You farm up really well with the ring toss, use your passive stacks of Flaming Spear to keep you alive. When not farming, you can gank really well in the lanes and get kills, or back off enemy gods. Your goal as a jungler is to kill the enemy gods. Kill them so they give your teammates less trouble. So either get gods that you can kill easily, or kill gods that are high priority targets that are giving your team trouble, that way they can just do more. You want to focus on quickly getting in and out, since you're very easy to kill if you're not careful. Tips and combos. And the boys got a lot of tips and a lot of combos. First up are the tips. Passive. You want to try to have it full before fight so you can heal when needed. This is just a simple thing to do. Not easy to do, but you want to have that if possible. Another one is, try to ring toss targets you know you can hit, like minions over gods if available, because then minions will hit them, and then it'll go hit the gods eventually, if there's not that many targets. Next one, Flame Spear before Armillary Sash for a chance to crit, if you don't have any crit items on you. That's just so that, well, you have a chance of critting, which could get the kill for you. Next tip, your ultimate is great for killing and escaping, that's just a simple thing, you can get away very well with it, or you can just kill people, because it's just a good ultimate. Next tip, Get items to take advantage of your ultimate. Since you get guaranteed crits, there are items that are affected by crits, so you can consider getting those. Next tip is, pay attention to the enemy gods who have purification relics, because they will stop your ultimate. And last tip is, when your ultimate is over, you will go back to where you were when you started the dash. I talked about this earlier in abilities. It's very important to remember where you are, because that can be useful in surviving situations. Especially if you're getting in for a bad situation, you can ult from distance, kill somebody, and then jump back to that spot and run away, if you did it correctly. Now when it comes to combos, there's a lot of combos. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. And the idea behind all these combos is, well, your sash is incredibly important to land in all of these. Like 1, 2, 3, 4 is you're getting protections taken off your enemy with your ring toss, using flame into your sash for crit chance, and the ultimate to just kill them or wreck them very badly. Another would be, you can do 2, 3, 1, which is flame for crit into your sash, and then ring toss to just do some bounce damage, get rid of their procs and then maybe just beat them to death with basic attacks. The 3-1 combo is just going close to them, hitting with the ring, and then beating them to death. Then there's 3-4-1, which is going into them close, hitting them with the ultimate, and then hitting them with the ring to lower their protections, and then beat them to death if you need to. And then the big combo, 2-3-4-1, that's critting into your sash, hitting with ultimate, and then finishing off the ring toss for the protection reduction and the slow, and punching them to death if you need to with your spear, if they're still not dead. They all rely on different situations, so keep that in mind. Purchases for Nausea. Now, Nausea is reliant on power, pen, cooldown, and criticals. Cooldowns, so we can just do things more often. Power and pen are obvious, and then criticals, of course, because he just kills very badly with criticals. Attack speed and lifesteal are optional, but very useful. 
And what this does is it makes you very deadly to enemy gods with your ultimate and just basic attacks. Defensive relics are useful, and that's of course Purification Sanctuary, but when it comes to aggressive relics, it's usually Curse or Sprint. Curse to slow them down even more, Sprint so you can get around to your enemies or help your teammates get to a situation if needed. In conclusion, Nausea is a tricky god that can cause a lot of mayhem and destroy most gods as long as you're accurate with your abilities and keep a handle on enemy positioning. Understand the ring toss positioning, your passive stacks, landing your sash, and ultimate timing, and you will straight up style on your opponents. Just roll up on them all day and all night. Now up next is going to be Neith. She is a very straightforward god. She's a beginner god. She is the beginner god for ADC, so she should be a very straightforward guide. It'll be very useful to everybody. Now as far as these guides go, you should share them with your friends. That way more people have more understanding of more gods in the game. How to play them, how to play against them just by understanding them better. And it'll be good for everyone because you'll have better teammates, better opponents, and just better gameplay in general by that. So there you go. That right there is the guide. I had fun making it. Hope you had fun watching it. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.